usually I don't admire him, so maybe that's why. Uh, hello, uh, Izzy. I want to talk to you, Izzy. Oh, I can talk to Chuck again. Let me talk to Izzy first, though. Can I talk about DJ? And we shoot some hoops with her to butter her up, too, because I love playing hoops. So we're going to play bronze with her because we have no choice. Okay, basically, you're just playing with the meter. And you have three lives on the easy one. So, not too hard. Until it speeds up. Then it gets pretty hard. Now it's her turn. Oh, she missed it. Like, I really should be on the basketball team and not her. Okay, we were kind of close. <laughs> but we're doing good still. Alright, girl, your turn. Oh, she sunk it right in there. Okay, she's trying to catch up with me. Fine, that's okay. Okay, starting to speed up a little bit. Well, I got this. Nice. Swish, nothing but net. Are you kidding me? She's sucking right now. Maybe she's trying to do it on purpose to make me feel good. I don't know. Like, I almost got it right in the middle that time. Okay. See, she's feeling the pressure. She wants to catch up with me now. Ooh, really fast, really fast. Oh, so close to getting in the middle, but I got it anyway. Now, on bronze, I'm pretty good. So, this game could last, like, a really long time. But, once that meter is, like, full up, I'm gonna, like, start losing on purpose. Although, right now, it's pretty fast, so I may lose by accident. I'm actually trying right now. Oh, and I got it right in the middle. Oh, and I almost got in the middle for the other bar, too. Yeah, but now I'm going to start, like, intentionally failing because it's going it's gonna go on for a while. And I don't want to spend the whole time playing basketball with her. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to click. Oh, I got in the middle. I wasn't trying. <gasps> oh, no, I wasn't trying. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's that's fantastic. Now I, I've uh, maxed out the bar. Now I'm going to try and fail. Like, I'm going to try really hard to fail. <laughs> See, that's going to happen to me because it's going so fast now. I'm going to get smacked in the face. Yeah, see, that's almost impossible. Although I've made that before. Now I'm going to get smacked. <laughs> oh, man. Now I have two lives left. So it's going to slow back down all over again. So I'm going to have to fail on the slowdown. Oh, she, she was putting work into that little victory dance. So... Let me get it all the way over here, get it all the way up there, fail, Ooh, get smacked, ouch. Let her go, and she'll probably get it now. Like, there's no way she can actually win. Like, I doubt she will even catch up to me. So, put it there, put it down here. Oh, so sad. But, of course, I won. And we won a hundred dollars from that. That was great. Now don't. Six o'clock already. I need to get out of here before they lock me in. Dang it! I want to talk to her. I guess I have to do that tomorrow. You know what? Today, I'm going to go to the mall because I need money for clothes. So there's a few after-school jobs like working at the laundry uh, cleaners, working at the gelato shop. And I think there's other ways, and there's other ways to get money too, but they're not really after school jobs. Here's a magnet, pick that up. All day long you have good luck. Not really, but kinda. The guy needs help, so let's talk to him. Hey, you look upset. What's wrong? I lost my wife's birthday present. Oh no. Yeah, sure dude. Absolutely. 
Thanks for helping me. It, it's a purple bag. I'm sure it's in the mall somewhere. Okay, we'll go find it. Now let's see. Purple bag. I hope there's a reward that comes with this purple bag. I bet there isn't, though. And here's the purple bag. Pretty much where it always is. And there's a magnet, and I want that. So let me go get that magnet. And I'm going to quickly work at the ice cream shop before I return the man's bag to him. If they send me home, that's not my fault. No, I want the money. I'm here for the job. Great, just to fill the orders as they come through the kitchen. Okay, cool. Thank you. This is probably like my favorite little mini game. And I just make ice cream before I even see it coming. But right now I'm having trouble grabbing the glass. What's going on? Oh, tutorial. Duh. So here's a tutorial, and they're telling us how to make ice cream like we don't know what to do. Move the cup, squeeze some ice cream comes down, pick it up, put it on the tray. Click, and you refill the gelato machine, and more gelato just magically flows inside of it. Now we get to make some pink ones with white sprinkles which they call snowy put on the plate make it go down the conveyor belt on its own now this one we need green ice cream but they're gonna force us to put vanilla in it vanilla's not right see now it's all red now we wasted ice cream ouch and it sounds like the cup breaks so now it's all up to us to do stuff so let's refill these get that green down there wait for the pink to fill up there you go let's get that refill in we gotta refill that one let's see we need some chocolate get the chocolate down here I just put the cups down down I just fill them up we'll see if we ever get around to using them there's no penalty if you have a cup that goes unused so it doesn't really matter and see, look at that. There's a pink one. Well, let's take this one. Put some pink. There you go. Take some chocolate. Fill up that strawberry again. Get some more creamy, which is not really creamy. It's actually vanilla, but they're not calling it vanilla. Oh, here's your vanilla. We'll put some cream sprinkles on it. There you go. Fill up that chocolate again. Oh, they want some vanilla with that strawberry. Want some pink sprinkles on it or red excuse me red sprinkles let's fill up that vanilla tank oh and they want more vanilla well we're gonna have to wait till it fills up so you don't want to let it get all the way to the bottom because then it takes forever to fill and then you'll lose an order oh she wants green and pink let's get her green and pink with those red sprinkles fill those back up we got this chocolate sitting here and no one wants chocolate what they just want creamy and minty right now. Refill creamy and minty. Goodness, no one wants a uh, chocolate ice cream. What, who's hating on chocolate? I like chocolate ice cream. Strawberry. We gotta start filling those machines up. Come on, no one wants this chocolate. Okay, he wants it, but he wants it mixed with some mint. But wait, the machine fills up. Give him that mint. See, everything gets used eventually, as long as you don't make too many. Okay, they want three flavors. They want three scoops. Let's give it to them. There you go. Refill all these machines. And here we go. Someone after my heart wants some chocolate with some rainbow sprinkles. Refill that chocolate. Oh, we got a little break coming. Well, that's nice. Let's get these uh, little bowls down here. And if you want, you can actually put them in the candy station. So now we got extra bowls. Okay, so we want chocolate, chocolate, strawberry. Put down the plate. Let's see. We'll fill those back up. Come on. Who wants more? We want some mint ice cream here. Two scoops. There you go. Got another one. Come on, who wants it? Strawberry. Oh, it's like I knew they wanted it. <laughs> Come on, someone else got want ice cream. Come on, what you want? You want vanilla. And you want snow sprinkles. Here you go. 
fill these up. Come on, that can't be it. Someone else wants want more ice cream. Come on, you scream ice cream, you don't want ice cream. Come on. No, I guess not. That was the last one. Well, all the Jalal tanks are filled. We have no leftover ice cream or cups. Not that it would have deducted our points, but that's not the point. The point is, we did that excellent. And we made $100 from that. Thank you for your help. Here are your wages. Time to head home. I can use the map to get there. Okay. Looks like we're heading home then. And we got a message. We'll have to check that when we get to the house. Let's see who messaged us. Oh, TLC. Okay, so they want us to fix up our room. Uh, everything looks like crap. So I kind of don't know what they want me to do with it. Because everything looks bad. So they're going to give us this ugly carpet. And some ugly, like, picture for our wall. And uh, ugly wallpaper. Like, all this is boring. I'm not a fan. Uh, this desk is stupid. So I'll clip on this desk. Trash it. And, uh, they gave us a new desk, I think. Yeah, there's, there's our new desk. And I'm using the mouse, uh, wheel to scroll it, to, uh, move it around. So I'll put it like that. That's the only nice piece of furniture we have now besides these two. Even the bed I don't like so much. But, uh, let, I'm gonna trash some things if I... So let's close that now. We'll go back into it, because in tutorial you can't do it. But I want to trash our TV and this ugly dresser. And this ugly thing that we're supposed to... Oh, we can't get rid of it. We can only put a new one in its place. Okay. So, we got a message on our phone. Who was it from? Oh, it's from Mom. Hey, where are you? You should be home by now. Okay, well, we're home now. So, let's hop on in bed. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Oh. Yeah, I know you're tired. <laughs> she had an exciting day, though. Now, let's pick an outfit. Once again, we want something friendly for all the boys to like. Let's see. Uh, who likes this shirt? Well, a few of the boys like this shirt, so let's wear this shirt. And that's our new shirt that we got. And what about these jeans? A few of the boys like jeans. Ooh, we got a message. I heard that. Let's see. Where are the shoes? Not a lot of boys like this sh these shoes. Um, oh, boys hate those shoes. Well, let's try these shoes. Some of the boys think these shoes are cute. I like it. And let's uh, change our hair and makeup. Because we have to uh, do things for men. And uh, let's see. A lot of the boys like this look. So, I'll pick it, even though it's not my favorite. And, let's see, eyeshadow. All the boys like this one. Uh, they feel kind of neutral about this one. I like it. I think it's really pretty. Like, uh... I, I guess we'll go with this one. Hopefully, Eugene doesn't hate it that much. And, blush. I don't think, in general, boys really like blush at all. So, we just won't put any blush on. How about that? And the lipstick, I think I have the right lipstick on. Yeah, pretty much everyone loves this lipstick. So we'll just keep the lipstick how it is. Finish on up. We'll head on to school. Ugh, and here we are back in this old bitch class. Yes, school bell. That's the most beautiful sound in the world. That's right, excuse me out my way and we got a text message oh Benny hello you always make me smile thanks I normally get shouted at not complimented I'm also gonna try and not talk during uh, like whenever they have their little conversations and I also put on the subtitles for you guys kind of last time you said the sound was a little low oh we'll go for gelato I want to go for gelato Emily wants to go for gelato with us, but I want to talk to some of these boys first. I got PD. Hello, PD. Can I talk to you again? No, I can't. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, 
something's blinking off for us in the uh, library and I think that is the boy Landon's sister so we should talk a uh, hello Madison Madison's a bitch hi Madison yes who's asking me I'm new here and well Emily said I should introduce myself if spit it out I don't have all day if I wanted to meet one of the more important kids at the school she said that about me? I tell you, I just love that girl. She's so fab. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's really fab. I don't like this girl, but we have to suck up to her to get to her bro. I don't like this girl, but we have to suck up to her to get to her brother. So the people you hang around with, they're the cool people, right? You say cool. We say elite. Mm. The sooner you understand the difference between the two, the sooner you can join the elite. And what makes you think I want to join the elite? Because you're still talking to me. <laughs> you should probably run along. I've got shopping to do, and they don't allow pets in their stores. Ooh! I'm sorry. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, you... Oh, is there a slap option? The Sims has a slap option. Brr. We can't talk to her. The only way to get in with her is to basically wear the right kind of clothes and, and shoes and stuff like that. Which means we need money to buy expensive stuff from Couture. Which uh, I'm not doing that at this moment because we don't have enough money. We have to make some money. Eugene, hello. Hey, what's going on? Oh, uh, well, I'm arranging these pictures in a way that best describes my passion for food. Oh, really? I was going to say that. <laughs> sure you were. It's too contrasty on the right side, isn't it? Contrasty? Too much black, too much white. The contrast. Come on. Tell me what you really think about it. I don't even see a picture, but I'm allowing to say I like it because that's what you do with guys that you like. You you just be outing all bubbly and, and giddy and just tell them whatever they want to hear. No, I'm serious. I totally got it. I actually think that the contrastiness of it portrays a sort of confused mind state. If the colors were more blended... Saturated. Yeah, that. If the colors were more saturated, it would have felt more normal. Huh. I guess you're right. Thanks. Hey, can you do me a quick favor? One of my photography magazines has this amazing trick that I wanted to use. Only one problem. What's that? My friend Lucy has it. Would you mind picking it up for me? I really need to get this done. I don't mind with that. Especially you see like the little hearts were fluttering above his head. He totally loves us. That is so fetch. Lucky, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Ten years since Mean Girls and it still hasn't happened. Actually, that's totally a lie. It totes happened. Yeah, sure. But how will I know who Lucy is? Trust me, you'll know. That's not like a really good description, but basically Lucy is the bitch with the hot pink hair who like wears the like outlandish clothes. But first I want to go and talk to Chuck. Hello girl with pretty red hair. She's rocking my hairstyle. Hater. Biter. Also, I want to talk to Izzy. Well, not really talk to her. I want to play games with her. Oh, ask about DJ. Hey there. Because I know at one point I'm going to have to play a lot of games to become, become like friends for her so that PD will want to do stuff with me. Act politely, act rudely with a big smile on my face, or beg. Hell no, I'm not begging for no information about PD. I, I'm too proud to beg. I will act politely. You're Izzy, right? That would be me. I hear you're the foremost expert on all things PD related. Yeah. We've been besties since our crawling days. Mm. Why are we hating? All of a sudden we got mad. Odd behavior, player hater, attention deflect. <laughs> why, why are we... Why, why are we being so mad? We're like hating. Like. Okay, well tell me this. Is it strange that he just shut me out? Not at all. I'd be surprised if he let you in. Why? Because he's getting ready for the DJ battle. He's really dedicated and doesn't like to be bothered, especially by new girls. Wow. No offense. 
how can I not take that? What you know? Whatever. Let's keep being nice. Uh, does his mix suck? <laughs> Is it good? Well, have you heard his mix yet? Is it any good? Are you kidding me? No. Why? PD never lets anyone hear a mix before it's ready. He's too much of a perfectionist. Why does he do that? Because he's crazy. <laughs> I keep telling him he is, but he's so caught up in his ways. That's my shy PD. Her shy PD. He supposed to be my shy PD. She talking about her shy PD. He mine. Uh, should I push forward? Should I pull back? I'm gonna push forward. So should I stay in the room until he kicks me out? Like a protest. I like it. Unfortunately, that might be the only way you get in. With Petey, you've got to be forceful, but gentle at the same time. It's a dangerous mix. Dangerous? How? Because if you're too forceful, he's going to get scared off. But if you're not forceful enough, he'll forget about you. Ouch. Yeah. Not on purpose, but because the guy's so busy. Just be yourself, though. Petey likes honesty. Okay. Thanks for everything. Okay, well that was nice talking to her. Oh, there's someone running around here. Who's this? Oh, that's Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hi. You're Lucy, right? Depends. Who's asking? I am. Didn't you just hear I meant and who are you? Oh, I'm Eugene's friend. He asked me to pick up a couple of magazines for him. No, he didn't. <laughs> you didn't ask you? Why didn't he just ask me himself? Oh, he's just crazy busy and couldn't come down here. Busy? We've been friends since we were kids. He's never too busy for me. I don't know. He was stuck. I was there. That's probably why I didn't ask you. Whatever. I don't like being some guy's chore girl anyway. Here are his magazines. She's like so angry. I didn't do anything. I was doing him a favor. Um, here's Chuck again. I guess I'll talk to Chuck. Uh, I'll give him a compliment. I'm not giving him a present. He's gonna wait, make me, uh, he's gonna wait to talk to me. Hey, Chuck, great game last week. You think so? Really? Okay, you convinced me. Ugh, I don't like him. But I'm gonna keep lying and saying I do. <laughs> and he's still playing that with that damn basketball, ignoring me. Do you practice a lot? All the time. Wow. We play till my legs feel like smashed tomatoes. Well, I know how you can make that better. Really? You know how to fix a smashed tomato? <laughs> yeah, with tomato paste. <laughs> oh, that's so cute and corny. Oh, who's these little cheerleading hoes? Hello? Can I talk to you cheerleaders? No? Okay, I, I think I have to... Yo, that girl just bumped me. You don't want none of this, girl. I will chase you down. I will. I could bump you too. Look at that. Ooh, I bump you. Whatever. Let me go find Emily before time runs out. Cause getting late. Is she even here? I don't even think Emily's here. Um. Do I have to text her that I'll meet her for gelato? Cause I don't even see her in the school. Let me see. Let me text and see if uh, I can answer her text about the gelato. Come talk to me. Yeah, but where do I go for the gelato? I forgot. Um, let me see. It, no, she's not here. No, because that's Abigail, Lucy. Maybe she's already by the gelato place. Now let me see. Does that mean the gelato place by the promenade? I think it's here. Cause there's two gelato places. There's one in the mall as well. Uh, okay, there's a boy down there asking for my attention, but Emily is down here. So I'm gonna talk to Emily. Emily, girl! Emily, girl! What took so long? I thought you'd be dying to go. Sorry about that. I had some things to take care of. It's okay. Let's get going. She's hating on me. I was trying to get to D. Don't act like you don't know. Okay. So, tell me about this Chuck Majors, dude. You mean he hasn't told you everything about him already? No. He's told me quite a bit. 
but it feels like he's holding some stuff back. Chuck Majors, he's a really nice guy and all, but... But... Mm, he's a little bit awkward socially. Hmm. Really? He didn't seem like that to me. Well, what did you guys talk about? Basketball. Well, there you go. Get a girl talking about shopping, and we can talk for hours. <laughs> Same thing there. Try talking about something other than that and see where it gets you. I'll have to pay attention to that. One thing I was wondering is, if he's the star of the team, why doesn't he have a girlfriend? Ah, he hasn't gotten to that part yet, huh? He was going out with Chelsea Harper, but they, uh... Let's just say Chuck's a little awkward around girls. Hmm. Emily, you're so bad. <laughs> right. That's not the point. So, Chuck spends all of his time practicing, right? I mean, you can tell the boy is dedicated. Chelsea didn't like that, so she gave him an ultimatum. Basketball or her? <laughs> yep, and he chose basketball. How embarrassing. Why would he do that? She was probably smothering him. Guys don't like that. You need their space, and I guess Chuck got tired of it. <laughs> to tell the truth, I would have done the same thing if some boy was stopping me from shopping. <laughs> so, he's available then? That's the moral of the story. Don't fall into the same trap she did, though. What? The smothering? That, too. But no, Chelsea couldn't even remember what his favorite soda was. She would always order the wrong thing. What's his favorite? Fizzy Berry Lemonade. No joke. This guy is everything a jock isn't. <laughs> you sure there's more you're not telling me? I've told you all I got. Okay, thanks. Oh, Emily gave us the whole tea. Okay, thank you, girl. I mean, I don't really like her, but she gave us all the information we needed. Now, let's run past her, because there's like a little blinky thingy. And there's a boy who uh, wants us to do a mission. Excuse me, you rude, you bumped me.